Right, how are you guys doing? You're well? I hope you've had a fantastic week so far. Welcome to Entertainment Thursday right here on White Fair Forward TV. Now you know what the show is all about. If you don't know, then it's all about trending topics. Yes, we have the sauce, we have the juice, we have, like, we have all that awesomeness, all that goodness. Who's breaking up with who? Who's making up with who? Who's getting married? Who gave birth? We have all that right here on White Fair Forward TV. And thank you so much for making time to join us. My name is Philine. You can find me at Philine Jean across all social media pages. And I have my panelists right here. They're going to be helping me break these stories down. Let's meet them. I call them my co-hosts, starting with our very own Italian. Babe, hey, 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 let's say Nairobi. Yeah, Nairobi is okay. Yeah, Nairobi is okay. Nigeria. We don't want stalkers. So yeah. let's keep it safe. Nairobi. 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 What are your social media handles? Uh, you can find me in Victor Lichuma. Uh -huh. Facebook. Everything. Just say everything. Instagram. Everywhere. Everything. Yeah. Victor. Kishuma. Lichuma. Oh, Lichuma. Yeah. All right. Nice. And then we have the Mwangis, <laughs> as we call him. So, I'm going to do great on my party for that matter. Imagine. Okay, I go by the name Dennis Bob Miner, a.k.a. the Mwangis. It's always a good time to go mm -hmm. to Thursday to Dakue to Jibambe. All right. And we see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hey, now I want to chill now. Mm. Hey, I'm telling you. And then we have JC. Yes. Okay, I call her. I call her. I call her. Yeah. I call her the sassy Jesse. Oh, my God. All right. So, Jesse, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi everyone. Uh, Kama Kawaida, um, see, touch your remotes. Mm -hmm. Just stay there. We have so much juice for you guys. We got so that. So much. Mm -hmm. Now, the hashtag, the hashtag as always is wait for four updates. Keep talking to us. And if time allows it, then we might be able to sample some of your comments and tweets and all your responses. Now, you have to pardon me. I have a cold. I'm not feeling 100, but we still have to work. Come on, Yaje. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> we have to do this. We have yeah, to do, do this. this. All right. Now, a boy who impressed Kenyans online with his imitation skills of TV host Jeff Koinange secured a rare chance to meet the journalist. The boy identified as Master Joseph Ndegwa hosted, was hosted by the journalist on his talk show popularly known as JKL on Wednesday, 20th November. Now, despite his young age, the young boy exuded confidence and impeccable imitation skills that captured what Jeff Koinange does during his prime time show. Most social media users have since called upon Jeff to mentor the boy so that he can be just like him in future. We have the video. Let's check it out. Citizen TV, my name is Jeff Koinange. You remember the tweeting? I'm Koinange Jeff. Kenya hashtag is always JK Live. And JK Live begins right now. Tonight on JK Live. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Joseph Ngari Ndegwa. Yeah. Do that again. Do that again. Start tweeting at Queen Nange Jeff. Kenya hashtag is always JK Live. I know, right? How impressive is that? Like, he knows Jeff Koinange word for word. He can imitate him. He has a bright future, don't you agree? Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to start with JC. What are your thoughts? That boy is bright. Mm -hmm. And I think he has learned Jeff. Yeah. That is what exactly Jeff says. I think at a certain point, it's that like part, this song. Yeah, because the, the part where he goes, tonight, oh, not even tonight. Now, we let me see how much he comes. The confidence of that boy, man. Yeah. The guy, mm -hmm. who boy has confidence, he now has 30, 30 years. Yeah, yeah. He's there are people who can't even start in one, kind eh? of the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Just look at honor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even the legs. Yeah, everything. The way he moves. <laughs> then holding the waist. Yeah. Everything. Oh my God. Yeah. His talent. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just pray mm -hmm. that <laughs> <laughs> he gets to, I think, at our end, your job. Yeah. Uliona, Uliona. There's also another one. There was the Swahili one. And there was even in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Niliona posts. Mm -hmm. 
ilikuwa anani ameweka uh, Julie yeah. Julie Obino alikuwa ameweka uh, a 10 year old ndiye alikuwa anacheza kwa an African Imagine co Conference Mm -hmm. A ten year old DJ. No, but is that is South African DJ? Mm -hmm. He started playing when he he was Ata like six uyo, years. That, I think. Now that is a girl. Yeah. Imagine Kila Mtu was so amazed. Yeah. Wow. But you know, so like, but to such talent. I don't think oh, it's something think? new. I just think it's new in Africa. But we have other countries that but kids we, have been doing this because you identify yeah. your kids' talent when they are really still young, and then you mentor them towards From that. From there, Sasa. Yeah. Akuna <laughs> 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 But you know, this yeah. is a, actually a very good sign that uh, mm -hmm. CBC is actually working. Mm -hmm. If if anything, then it's a step in the right direction that right. we are having kids trying to emulate what they uh, see every day. But also, it should be a sign to the relevant players in the industries that yeah. kids actually emulate what they see. Yeah. So, so the only way to mentor these kids to what we want them to do exactly. is by showing them what we want to do. Yeah, so mm. I'm thinking these are journalists who yes. want to become journalists. So yeah. should guys in other fields do the same? Maybe what Mbele should yeah. do yeah. Exactly. that? They should do that? So according to me, any mm -hmm. a boy, I'm going to go media right now. Yeah. 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 There are so many kids yeah. shows. Yeah. Maybe they should give him yeah. one. At me, oh, if someone has talent, he has to be able to do it. Yeah, exactly. He has to be able to do it. He has to be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for me, Akosa, maybe what we can say for the media companies, us included, I think we can start going to primary schools. There before it used mm. to happen uh, in campus, so where the, the likes of uh, Standard mm. Media, Nation Media, they go about sourcing uh, talent from campuses, USIU, DESTA, UON. So I think it's high time they narrowed down to primary, primary. schools and elementary, because yeah. I think talent is being identified from such a young age. Yeah. So big up uh, Professor George Makoha, I, I hope you saw that. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's Makoha, but it's Let's move, on, right. let's move on to the next story. Now, Bongo Superstar harmonizes latest hit song, Uno, video has been pulled down from YouTube. This comes barely a week after Kenyan producer Magic's anger promised to have it deleted from YouTube. Anger had accused Harmonize of stealing his beats, which he used in King Kaka and Christoph's hit song, Do Dying. All right, we talked about this story last yeah. week. Mm. Magic's yeah. anger told her, harmonize to pull down the video or he's gonna tell the youtube guys to do it of course he didn't pull it out and guess what <coughs> sizey it's not on youtube because of like copyright issues and stuff so they're still sorting that out so Mseka Magic's anger has power. You know, social media actually has power. Now, though, oh, yeah. what Tanzania, like, like the way you attack Beyonce and then the, the beehive when you're talking bees on your timeline, so Magic's anger. Yo, TZ, maze, ile kumuingilia, ome muingilia. Yo, but was that a good move by Magic's anger? Ama that was just being I'll petty? I'll to what I said last time. Mm -hmm. I'm supporting him. Najwa Mwangi is at a disagree. Uh -huh. He disagree. Uh -huh. Unakumuka mpaka karibu tupigane. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. Kama tulisema ata kama hizo beats tulisema zilitoka kwa anaito nani? Zilitoka. Kwa Olamide. Yeah. Ni Olamide. Ama ni Olamide. 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 Yeah. Na leo ni nini shida yetu June? Nini <laughs> matina <laughs> za watu? <laughs> Olamide. <laughs> so, uh, if at all zilikuwa zimetoka hapo, mbona yege haku mshitaki. But if zimefika point enye ana pull down wimbo yake YouTube, it means then there is some. At, at least, maybe let's say 50% of truth. No, then actually, no, I get to, what, what happens, to what happens is that you, you write to go, you write to YouTube, YouTube. I love they'll have to consider that. Exactly so they'll do their own week. investigation. Yeah. 
All right. So Mangiz, Mangiz does not like this story at all. I could support. What do? No, 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 no. No, but it's it's not even like that guy went to the studio, mm -hmm. recorded the song, went for a tour, yeah. played that song all over. I've been thinking we launch in the Unakumbuka. Iya, iyo beat niango. Really. But he was doing, he was doing the Nini the tours. I'm sure if Magix is as he is, is powerful as he's trying to put it, yeah. I'm sure he should have had it mm -hmm. in one way or the other. It's right. in their circles. He only producer. Okay. Yeah. So kukutia saa hii kukutia kutoa video mtu yeah. when it yeah. when it has sijui how many views <laughs> no it's so, not even so the the pass over the mic pass over the mic so look at this Magic Sanga is a well known producer yeah. in Kenya right yeah. so is it just like Nikiki ana try kuvuka boda ana tumia harmonize ama uji mimi na swali tu rais how many people wana kuanga na same idea at the same time beats Ah ah bit pia ni idea. Kweli mm -hmm. nilitoka ni idea. Ni mm -hmm. idea. Aha. Uh -huh. Alafu let me tell you see Kenya tu wache inaitwa cheap publicity. Yeah. Tuache kitu kidogo hizo vitu ndogo ndogo. Mm -hmm. no. Okay I support Kenya music. Yeah. Fully 100%. Yeah. But sasa mtu aki hit si utafute pia venue utahita hapo ndani. Mm -hmm. Tuache hizi. Yeah, do not have to care. Come a bit near Enga, Enga. Back in Enga. What about after one million views, YouTube, ah ma? Ah, but to see you know, talk on Yeah. All right. No, no, no. I think I support. Um, not really support. Let me share my view. Mm -hmm. I tend to think probably since Hamona is left to Asafi. You know, uh, Lisa Lapi on a on a lawsuit. Yeah, I don't know. He's supposed to pay twenty eight million. But at least. No, no, he said he doesn't have that pay. kind of money. Yeah, yeah. he has yeah. to sell his house. You remember the other time he bought the parents uh, Lexus? Yeah. Kila mtu na yake. Right now the guy is struggling. So I think also, uh, well, probably Wasafi might have something to do with this. Oh, Chini that's another angle. Yeah. Let, yeah. Oh. Let, let me tell you, let me explain. 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 He's trying. They, are, they might be trying to frustrate this guy. You know, so, end his career completely because mm -hmm. they were milking too much cash from him. Harmonize by the way, Alira is from TZ, mm. like international. So, of course, to carry on any cash cow and they could talk like to get out of the contract. Of course, but he just signed his person. first artist. I understand, but then <laughs> would you feel good mm -hmm. if I'm bringing a million bucks to your company and I want to opt out and go start mine? Mm -hmm. You will try and find every way to frustrate you. To frustrate me, you right? so that you don't trust me. Yeah. Yeah. So, Niliwambia, he said, in a Wangana photographer, director, any in a movie. Unama nga ma plot twist. Tumetoka uku, uwe mese ma pana, uwe mese ma nikiki, kuna director uko ju, alafu kuna wangina asema, oh, plot twist. Yeah. Like, but to any movie at this rate, yeah. but now <laughs> we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about, uh, about that after the show. Right now, the guy, the guys at home can be part of the show by tweeting or texting us. The hashtag is white for for updates at Philin Jean at uh, JC Mugore at Dennis Bob Minor at Victor. Victor Lichuma at Junel Biatora Giovanni. Alright, so so now let's go. Let's go to the next story. One meeting. Are we okay? Are we together? Alright, so now gospel singer size eight and her husband DJ Mo have welcomed their second child after what they termed a difficult pregnancy. In an emotional video posted on their YouTube channel, size eight narrated that she suffered serious complications that nearly costed her her life and that of her baby as she clocked the last trimester but we as entertainment Thursday would like to congratulate them yeah. that is correct <laughs> all right now June I'm gonna start with you because yes. one don't know sometimes eh, you go yeah, yeah, we know. Uh huh. I'm Okay, so I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm squeezing. So let's just say it turns out. You may do, and you may do. Let's just say, okay, now tell you who's favorite because what turns out come chuki. So I tell Junior, yes, yes. Anyway, so size eight, we all know, like size eight has been through a very tough time. She yeah. lost her another pregnancy last year, yes. and it was very hard for her. So, what are your thoughts now that the baby is here? Though it 
was very painful because mm -hmm. I she actually gave birth before her due date mm -hmm. and the baby had to be placed in an incubator I think for a while yeah, yeah for her, her like her life was not okay like mm -hmm. uh, I think her blood pressure is going to shoot and everything yeah. but the baby is here yes and both of them are doing well yeah, yeah. I'm happy for them mm -hmm. but my advice to her mm -hmm. and other celebrities out there right keep your private life to yourself mm -hmm. Instagram, yeah. oh, Instagram, you in a twaje, Snapchat mm -hmm. you're in a hospital bed with drips all over you what is that supposed to mean to the rest of us mm -hmm. I think it's a very wise move as a lady if you're married <coughs> if you're in a relationship and you're heavy Feature me, but okay, let's just as like to go sour. Never get to see your magic. There's a reason I swear our mothers mm -hmm. never used to announce. I do want to funga na shoe, kauta shukia tuho. I can am daughter. I don't jai mo na ball. There's a reason as to why that happens. Yeah. Not everyone is voting for you out here mm -hmm. on social media, out in the streets. People are like, oh, congratulations. Lakini kamati lazima ikuwe. Kamati ya ro chafu. Yes, the earlier she realizes that, the better. Vitu mtu wanafanya nga chini chini. Anyway, I wish her God's blessings, but let's be wise. All right. Victor. Mbi ya kodi tu bino natuwa kwa sawa. Mbi ya wezi feature. Wezi, ato ufanye nini wezi feature. Kumbi ya kwa social media. Kumbi ya feature ya kwa social media na kuna mtu wana kupiga picha ta ukipita. Siu, hiyo ni yao. 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 You know. But sometimes kuna watu, they talk. Mm. Okay, just talk directly to the mic. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kuna shida they talk. Kuna lata tumia social media. Kuna lata tumia ni kama udaku. Yeah. True. So, mi na support. Kuna na support say that. And DJ Moore. They know how green are your story. Mangis, what's up? You know, okay. Mm -hmm. I, uh, first things first. Mm -hmm. uh, congrats to, to the couple. Yeah. Like, we, I'm very happy personally yeah. that they have their second one in, and it's a good thing. Yeah. But I have a problem with the publicity stunts they pull around. Yes. Because, you know, I watched the video of uh, when she was in hospital with drips, yeah, and I really felt this was actually product placement more than her struggling. Yeah. Actually, if you if you check on the caption, there was even something to do with the hospital involved. Yeah, it was I, did, that, I really yeah. didn't feel the vibe mm -hmm. why you're sh showing us all that. And then at the same time, when you're struggling or when you're having that, who in their right mind is thinking of recording a video instead of being there for you? You know. No, but you, like, you you talked about product, like uh, uh, the product they were advertising. The, yes. That is what the sponsor wants. They want to ride on that wave while it, uh, while, while it's still fresh. So like, oh, you're in hospital. Same like, oh, you like, you 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 like, mm -hmm. Even you being the husband, your baby is involved. Yeah. Your wife is on the bed. She's crying in pain. And the best you can think of right now is product placement. Really. Yeah. It doesn't even yeah, matter. What do you have easy fit to banana? Yeah. Mungina juzi naona na anaandika kwa page ya mtoto sijui. It doesn't even make sense. Easy fit to. Sema tu fungua ro. What do you have? Tunajua ni tanasha unasema. Sema tu. Si malizi aji. Si atuna shida. Mimi bora si juzi. Atuna jitafutia sifa na page ya mtoto. You know, let's let's not put kids into this. Yeah. These kids deserve a life. A private one. A private one for that matter. Yes. Once um toya mezaliwa, mm -hmm. like you know, she'll be getting to a point where when she gets to school, everyone will be remembering. But they always aliwa na mashida, you know. You, you know, it doesn't. It unaribi um toya life yake in future just because of now. You don't me patu na hospital or whatever. I'm sorry to sound in, uh, as I am sounding insensitive, personal, but personal. or personal, mm -hmm. but it really didn't feel that vibe. I okay, sour. Hey, that was deep. Hey, hey, calm down, relax. Personal. It's entertainment Thursday. The baby is here. Yeah. We're supposed to be happy. Yeah. Yo, people, JC, what's I'm happening? Uh -huh. But uh, okay, I agree with eighty mm percent. -hmm. Keep your private life to yourself. But I also tend to think that at some point up being a public figure and having gone through some, some things that women go through yeah. out here and they, they don't have the forum to come and address to encourage other women. Yeah, me to me the perfect way. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking in terms of gender mm -hmm. empowerment. I'm not story na kuanga up 100%. Yeah. Uh, for her, Alifanya poa. So is it Ali, Ali Sam Ali Miscarry last year? Yeah. So yeah, before this baby came yeah. in. Yeah. There are people who have been going through that. Mtu anafikiria, come to mental, in mental, mental, mental health. Mental health. Yeah. Mtu anafikiria, I'm the only one who goes through this. Unajua? Mm -hmm. You know some things as women, until you have someone who has gone through that 
and you, you have another person when you never relate now may go through that mm -hmm. is when you think you tend to think that now your life is normal okay. but before upate msiaja go through that stuff mm -hmm. you tend to think you're alone now when the mental disorders in a coming all right okay yeah okay. so i think okay. she did good mm -hmm. encouraging people because at the end of the video she even said she's doing this to encourage those who are going through the same that there is, there is a god of another chance okay if you are so there might this be another marketing strategy for the new baby? All right. So, that is later yes, on the show? Exactly no. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. Exactly. One meeting. We're going to talk about this. 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 We're going to go there and vent. What about now? We're going to go to the next story. Yeah? Next story. Now, Lupita Nyongo's baby brother, Peter Jr. Nyongo, is off the market. Now, he celebrated the engagement to his long term girlfriend, Wanda Wahoro, over the weekend at an invite only event. Now, I know people have a lot to say because just before that, we had another story. Remember? We had another, yeah, we had another story. In your vitus liqua, qua ground vitus liqua, but still got oh, so qua ground vitus liqua, fauti, la social media is different. All right, June, we're gonna start with you. What are your thoughts? Why me? Why me? Oh, well, I'm happy for the guy. I just hope the lady will be, I think, um, what is it called? She'll be sort of like assertive. If you're going through this, towards this direction, you stick to it. See, I we are we are getting married for him. Kesho, 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 yeah. I think, okay, so what we talked about earlier on, is it fashion? Is he? Is he not? Yeah. Sir, turns out he's just fashion. After all. No. Hmm? No. Fashion. No. Fashion. No. Fashion. No. fashion. No. fashion. No. Hey, Victor, no. Victor, no. Victor, Victor. Today, according to me, who can engage? What do I fight with you? Is it to all days? Hey. Hey. I fight with you. Tables are done. 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 Tables are Alright, let's give you a chance. Let's give you a chance to explain himself. Mm -hmm. And then after two weeks, I love to delete photos. 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 I Okay, I'm going to talk about that. We're going to go to Mwangi's. No comment. Actually, I'm very happy about what you I'm very happy about what you are saying. But I also feel one thing. Eh? His, his, uh, I feel it's something he, he needed to do to clear something out of the, the previous <laughs> story. Okay, publicity. And a clear hell, because most likely. what are you trying to say in layman's language in a layman's language explain i think yeah it's true from the previous story just but there was no story there were just photos of him. So okay, so for the guys at home who don't understand, <laughs> Junior Nyongo was on social media and he had a red lipstick, Nalikoa Ameva dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he had some photos, <laughs> and then he had some photos, Alikoa Ameva, Zile Nguza was Chana and Avanga and Dani and Guo, those ones. And they were on social media. Mm. So that's why, what we're going to say here, maybe, 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 but then it turns out. He has a girlfriend and he's engaged, but these guys don't agree. So, and the girlfriend, <laughs> really, 
Um, she was one of the people backing him up when guys were bashing him. What is this? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. She was one of the support. She was the one of the support yeah. systems. Right. So then someone comes. Ah, like you were Okay. Him so Jesse, what were you saying? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Your story. It might be something that he wanted to clear there to make things clear mm -hmm. to people. Mm -hmm. Mimi see your type. Mimi see ko your pande. Mm -hmm. Mimi ni eh ana safisha rada. Lakini ni na wacha kusafishie. Bora akaenda home then. Asi asi mali tena. Atutaki kuketi hapa to discuss. All right. Sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. Now the hashtag the hashtag the hashtag is why a 254 update. And of course at Philin Jean at what for channel feel free to tag us. Now a 24 year old convicted internet fraudster has been placed under investigations in Nigeria for allegedly masterminding a mega scam for a maximum sec from rather a maximum security prison worth at least a hundred million Kenya shillings the anti-corruption officials said that hope Ole Segun Aroke used a network of accomplices for the fraud Aroke was arrested in 2012 and has been serving a 24 year sentence at Kiri Kiri maximum security prison but investigations found he had access to the internet According to reports, he used the fixture's name Akinwi Sorimade to open two bank accounts and bought a luxury car and homes during his time in prison. All right, so this guy is in prison. He's Nigerian, obviously. He, okay, that, that came out, but <laughs> that did not come out the right way. So, um, so he's been serving a 24-year term in prison. But he's still in prison. But what shocked many... There's this scam. He managed to pull out a scam. And maybe I was saying, now Kojala, he's not even out. I made about 100 million Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. So guys are like, how did he do that? And there's another thing. There's a time Alisema he's sick. So Kapelekwa Hosi. And then while in hospital, not just so always Alipelekwa Hosi, but during his time in prison, I don't know how he escaped, but there's a way. He found his way outside prison. And this time he's still serving wow. his time in prison like he opened other bank accounts and stuff wow. but he's in prison so these guys are trying to find out how are you doing this but then they found out he actually had a phone in prison so yet one of the lana cards you know i'm not saying 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 those words so i say he's in a league in dog is he in a chest as a hundred million dennis what are your thoughts yo mm -hmm. this, this, this is actually a typical case of what we call now jailbirding mm -hmm. this guy knows his profession so well in such a way that he's safer doing it in jail than outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then what you're there's uh it's unverified though, but there's guys who will tell you if you go to the committee and talk to those guys, they'll tell you they would rather stay behind bars than leave. Yeah. Yes. It's, right. it's, it's better there. Yeah. It's home. Mm. Um say one how did you manage it? Because that guy who visits him, visiting bay, you know it's purely, you think it's purely crime talk or how you're doing bro and everything, but that guy is doing his business comfortably under the state protection. So here's the thing, this guy is in prison, so you found me guilty, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Arrest me? I'm still in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Where yeah, are you going to take well, me? Yeah, you're going to take me. Nico Jela. Look, he's in the <laughs> smart. Yeah. He's smart. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think yeah, yeah, Takushiko I didn't pull him back. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of people who are paid. Because at Akama, you are like um, yeah, at the hospital, akona, akona. you still have guards that you know, ask you to guard. You just you pay but everybody. But I think mm -hmm. the same way they know I'm a mm -hmm. you tend it tends to be home. Yeah. Prison in a tent kukua home. So mnakua, you just talk to this guy. Maybe our prison what what nini wao wanakuanga kuna ule mwenye usha befriend. So juna tani kitaka kitu, I just tell you cheki ukifanya hivi hii do ikiingia. I just miss yeah. yezi kwa wewe unaweza kuwa wewe unani guard na mimi niko kwa prison tukose ku make deal.
<laughs> All right. Yeah. Actually, Philippe, mm -hmm. If they're mm. going to investigate anyone, they should not be investigating the Bali. Yeah. They should be Dali. investigating the guards. Yeah. yeah. I'll send you on a Jewish The guys are around the guys are around the guys. All right, Victor. Um, same as a Mina. Mina Solito Rais. Usha Shiko. Sit down. Una norma already condani. Says that you go out of Shikara norma. What a fanya. Sukondani. Secondly, Abana, Utapoy left prison. I can't get back to Sukondani. Still go prison. Yeah. Still prison. Secondly, oh, you know corruption. Well, confirm I'm sure I got the 24th hour. No, Jama can be kid that. I'm a kid so. On top, I'm gonna be 100 G's per month. 20. I'm thinking like in African cases. countries, if you're yeah. found you of like guilty of fraud, you get arrested. Mm. Maju wanna go absorb. You go work for the government exactly. and you get paid. So, anyway, so this so, should happen with this guy. He's smart. Nigeria yeah, he's very smart. Alright, yeah. right, so because of time, we're mm. gonna go social media handles to Kikujaivi. Comments fupi fupi as we wrap up. 20 seconds, we don't have time. Kama kama kamaira, kama dawa. Hafuwa na samanga aje. Anyway, Junil Diatora Giovanni across all social media platforms. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a nice uh, is it weekend? Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, love from Kijibambe, love all the way from Mombasa. We appreciate you. Kuna my fans, by the way, wa wako online side. Oh, yeah. I mean, shout out to them. Mm. JC Mugore, uh, what's yeah, up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are your social media handles? Um, JC Mugore, Facebook, just Mugore, Instagram, mm -hmm. and Mugore Morash on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, after that, camera, and you want to go here. So, yeah. And uh, thank you so much, Watere. Thank you for always tuning in. Thank you so much. Kill him to him and James, man. Yeah, I shall write to him and James. Uh, so thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And one thing, you let's use our social media platforms for the right thing. True. Okay. If it's encouraging people, do it, but with a little privacy. All right. Yeah. Mangis. Yo. <coughs> no. I. <coughs> Okay, I go in your opportunity. I go by the name Dennis Bob. My name has been real to Mejibamba. Naranjo Daku Mekwa real. Come Mejibamba Pale home. Just don't forget to like or just share. And mm -hmm. Pia, just uh, follow us. My name is uh, Dennis Bob. My name across all social media platforms. And uh, if I don't do this again, Mrs. Juko Nyantakuwa naenda nyumbani for this. Filini makosa ni ulifanya. Ni sawa tu. Sawa. So Wangoi, I'm sure you're watching. And uh, Phil is Lynn and Nina. All of you, all the best. And thanks so much for watching. Nashukuru. Hi. Right. Victor, what's up? What do you want to tell the guys at home? Uh, oh, and you you brought a friend to the studio. Pia uni zam shout out. Shout out Steve, huh? Steve? Ni buwa pao tena? And I do love Pia. Yeah. Um, chocha kidogo, chocha kidogo. Mm -hmm. Nikitupua. And then, uh, my social media ni Victor Lichuma. Zote. Mm -hmm. Tusemetu zote. Hakuna aja tuende mo. Yeah. Alafu ni Nikitupua Pia for kuni invite. Na Pia mm -hmm. kusikizo chocha. <laughs> <laughs> You're most welcome. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. Now, Junelle, I'm going to give you just one second to shout out your friend. Oh, yeah. Guys, sorry. Check in. Guys, I Shout out to Ralph. Thank you so much for joining us. This is how we do it. All right. So, yeah. Every Thursday from 7 p.m. Every Thursday from 7 p.m. It's a new vibe, new form. All right. Now, I want to shout out Will, my friend Will. And I have another friend of mine. Her name is Maria. She's actually my best friend. So a big shout out to you, Maria. Thank you so much for watching the show. And the whole technical crew. I told you guys it takes a village. There's Yvonne, there's Faith, there's Hamstone, there's Timor, there's Maya, there's Liz, there's... 
What? I told you, a village. Ooh. So many, so Mbogi, oh, yeah. Joan, <laughs> this Joan. There's so, so, so many guys. But I wish I had to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any stories you want us to talk about next week or within the week, you can just send them to us at Filin Jean or tag any of us. And of course, at White Fifo channel and the hashtag White Fifo updates. And we're gonna see you next week with an even better shout, shout out to Hafulu. He's not here, but I wish I had to. And MCK as well. I wish I had to all of them. We're gonna see you guys next week. Enjoy your weekend. I'm gonna see you on Saturday for rock tour. Bye. Bye. Ooh.